The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me and sent me to preach the good news to the poor, to heal the broken heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with you, sir. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endowed the priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues, grant, we pray, that a fire with the same spirit we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I read it from the book of Ezra. At the time of the evening sacrifice, I, Ezra, rose in my wretchedness, and with cloak and mantle torn I fell on my knees, stretching out my hand to the Lord my God. I said, My God, I am too ashamed and confounded to raise my face to you, O oh my God, for our wicked deeds are heaped upon above our heads, and our guilt reaches up to heaven. From the time of our fathers, even to this day, great has been our guilt. And for our wicked deeds, we have been delivered up, we and our kings and our priests, to the will of the kings of foreign lands, to the sword, to captivity, to pillage, and to disgrace, as is the case today. And now, but a short time ago, mercy came to us from the Lord our God, who left us a remnant and gave us a stake in his holy place. Thus our God has brightened our eyes and, the, and given us relief in our servitude. For slaves we are, but in our servitude our God has not abandoned us. Rather, he has turned the goodwill of the kings of Persia toward us. Thus he has given us new life to raise again the house of our God and restore its ruins, and has granted us offense in Judah and Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Our responsorial song. Blessed be God who lives forever. Blessed, Blessed be God who lives forever. <clears throat> he scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Blessed, Blessed be God who lives forever. Praise him, you children of Israel, before the Gentiles, for though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Blessed be God, who lives forever. So now consider what he has done for you, and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness, and exalt the King of ages. Blessed be God, who lives forever. In the land of my exile I praise him, and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Blessed be God, who lives forever. Bless the Lord, all you his chosen ones, and may all of you praise his majesty. Celebrate days of gladness and give him praise. Blessed be God, Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. 
Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Pray, pray. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Morning. Morning. Bye, bye, bye. And I just ask that you please ignore any odd noises you hear. They're outside working on the church. They're going to clean it and paint it. Since it is a historic uh, building, we have to take a lot of care for this church. Uh, this goes back to the famous American railroad engineer, Casey Jones who was baptized here. So we have to be very careful in how we, we approach these things. But today the church celebrates the feast of St. Vincent de Paul. And as I was reading again and refreshing my mind on Vincent de Paul and the many great accomplishments that he uh, was a part of during his earthly life, the one thing that I really did kind of connect with was Vincent Paul is a man who develops his attitudes toward helping the poor, helping the imprisoned. He develops these attitudes because they speak to his personal experience. Vincent was born in a poor family. He was at one time captured and held as a slave. So those experiences helped to form him to the person that he became. The same is true with us. Our experiences, good and bad, help us to become the men and women that we are today. The important thing is that Vincent can give us an example that he did not let the negative experiences alter his personality and his charisms so that he would compound that negativity with his own brand of negativity. No. No matter how bad it was for Vincent, whenever he had the opportunity to do good and alleviate that suffering, that misery that he himself had experienced, he experienced. He forgave. He actively worked to alleviate suffering. He did not get angry at others for the conditions he went through. He did not blame others for the experiences he had. He did not hold it against others for the way they treated him. Instead, he gives us the example of kindness, of the shepherd's heart, to do what is good and just and right. Even if that touches here, a personal experience that we are hurt deeply from, but to use that pain and that suffering that we experience to better someone else's life. If we do that, if we imitate him in that way, then my gosh, the world can be a great place, greater than what it is now. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. 
Francis our Pope, and Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy, the people entrusted to their charge, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who travel by sea, land, or air, for captives and all held in prison, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion and by love and reverence for God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all souls in purgatory for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, let us pray for the needs of those who will watch this Mass today on video and for your own personal needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the glory be prayer. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Our O God, who enabled St. Vincent to imitate what he celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant that by the power of this sacrifice we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift it up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Vincent de Paul, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praises without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. 
Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter in my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, his wonders for the children of men. For he satisfies the thirst of soul, and the hunger he fills with good things.
Let us pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your Son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too we may be sustained by his prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy, Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking to ruin our souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the consoler. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be the holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, the angels, and the saints.